For years, cosmology has assumed that the universe looks the same in every direction when viewed on the largest scales. Recent studies, however, are raising serious questions about that assumption. New observations suggest a mismatch between the cosmic microwave background and the large-scale distribution of matter, an issue known as the cosmic dipole anomaly. If confirmed, this finding could challenge the foundations of the standard cosmological model. In this video, we will examine what researchers found, why it matters, and what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. Let's get started. The starting point of this discussion is one of the most precisely measured signals in cosmology, the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This radiation, left over from the early universe, has been mapped in extraordinary detail by multiple space missions. These observations show that the early cosmos was extremely uniform, with only tiny temperature variations across the sky. One feature of the CMB stands out clearly a dipole pattern. One direction of the sky appears slightly hotter, while the opposite direction appears slightly cooler. This dipole has long been interpreted as a Doppler effect, caused by our motion through space relative to the cosmic rest frame. That explanation is well understood and does not conflict with the standard cosmological model. However, the CMB is not the only place where such a dipole should appear. If the universe is isotropic on large scales, the distribution of distant matter should exhibit a corresponding dipole with the same orientation and strength. This expectation was formalized in the 1980s as the Ellis-Baldwin test, which provides a direct observational check of large-scale cosmic symmetry. Until recently, astronomical surveys were not large or deep enough to carry out this test reliably. That has now changed. Modern surveys include millions of distant radio galaxies, quasars, and infrared sources, selected at distances where local structures cannot dominate the signal. When researchers analyzed these datasets, the results were unexpected. The direction of the matter dipole aligns closely with the direction of the CMB dipole, suggesting the effect is not random. But the amplitude of the matter dipole is significantly larger than predicted if it were caused solely by our motion through the universe. This discrepancy has now been observed across independent surveys, different wavelengths, and multiple analysis techniques. Ground-based radio telescopes and space-based infrared missions, which are affected by very different systematics, report the same pattern. That consistency makes it increasingly difficult to attribute the result to instrumental error or survey bias alone. This mismatch between the predicted and observed matter dipole is known as the cosmic dipole anomaly. It represents a failure of a precise, long-standing test of isotropy and raises fundamental questions about how the universe is structured on the largest scales. The significance of the cosmic dipole anomaly lies in what it challenges at a foundational level. Modern cosmology relies on the assumption that, when averaged over sufficiently large distances, the universe is both homogeneous and isotropic. These assumptions are built into the mathematical description of space-time known as the friedman lemaitre robertson walker framework. This framework underpins the standard Lambda-CDM model and allows cosmologists to link observations of the cosmic microwave background, galaxy clustering, and cosmic expansion into a single coherent picture. Many key results, including estimates of the universe's age, composition, and expansion history, depend directly on these assumptions. Unlike other well-known tensions in cosmology, the cosmic dipole anomaly does not point to a disagreement between different measurements of the same quantity. Instead, it questions whether the geometric assumptions used to interpret those measurements are valid in the first place. There is no simple parameter adjustment within Lambda CDM that resolves the anomaly while preserving isotropy. Several theoretical possibilities are being actively discussed. One option is that the universe may possess a preferred direction on the largest scales, violating the cosmological principle. 
this would imply that cosmic structure is not statistically identical in all directions, even when averaged over vast distances. Another possibility involves anisotropic cosmological models that remain consistent with general relativity. These models allow the universe to expand differently along different directions and have traditionally been considered unnecessary because of the apparent uniformity of the CMB. The Dipole anomaly has renewed interest in whether such models deserve closer examination. More conservative explanations focus on observational effects. These include subtle selection biases and source catalogs, incomplete modeling of foreground contamination, or large-scale structures that extend farther than previously assumed. While these possibilities are being carefully investigated, none has yet provided a complete explanation for the observed amplitude discrepancy. What makes the situation particularly challenging is that the anomaly has persisted as datasets have improved. Rather than diminishing with better statistics, it has become more clearly defined. This persistence is what elevates the cosmic dipole anomaly from a curiosity to a serious issue in cosmology. If the cosmic dipole anomaly reflects a genuine property of the universe, its implications would be substantial. Many cosmological measurements rely on averaging observations over the sky under the assumption of isotropy. If that assumption fails, distance estimates, growth rates of cosmic structure, and interpretations of dark energy may need to be revisited. At the same time, the field is entering a period where much stronger tests are possible. A new generation of observatories is about to deliver data with unprecedented precision and coverage. The Vera Rubin Observatory will map billions of galaxies across much of the observable sky. The Square Kilometer Array will trace cosmic structure through radio observations with unmatched sensitivity. Space missions, such as Euclid and Spherex, will provide complementary data across different wavelengths. These surveys will allow cosmologists to test large-scale isotropy more rigorously than ever before. If the anomaly persists across these new datasets, it will be increasingly difficult to attribute it to observational limitations. If it weakens or disappears, that outcome will also offer important insight into the limitations of current surveys. Advanced analysis techniques are likely to play a central role in this process. Machine learning and other data-driven approaches can help identify subtle correlations, uncover hidden systematics, and explore complex theoretical models that are difficult to analyze using traditional methods. These tools are becoming essential as datasets grow in size and complexity. Crucially, the outcome does not hinge on any single experiment. It will emerge from the convergence of multiple independent observations and methods. Over the next decade, cosmologists expect to determine whether the cosmic dipole anomaly points toward new physics or reflects unresolved complexities in how we observe the universe. The cosmic dipole anomaly challenges one of the core assumptions of modern cosmology. If confirmed, it would force a reevaluation of how we describe the universe on the largest scales. Upcoming observations will determine whether this signal points to new physics or unresolved limits in current data.